Hello, I'm Luxakana and today I'm going to show you the continuation of me making my first CC item with uh, a custom mesh. Uh, this mesh I took from uh, one of the Eco Lifestyle items and just basically separated the skirt from the jeans it had. And well, last time we had some texture issues and I'm fixing them right now. Um, I'm making a voiceover over what I did, so it's easier for you to kind of understand what I'm doing because while I was doing this, I honestly didn't 100% understand what I was doing. Uh, what I'm speeding up here right now is me just placing the vertices where they should be. Last time I explained to you what a UV map is. This is exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm just fixing up the UV map so that uh, in the next step, I'm going to be able to start texture baking. What the hell is texture baking, you might ask yourself now. Uh, it's basically, you can either do textures by importing an image into Blender and then just having the UV map align with the image, or you can use materials and material nodes, which is what I'm going to do for this one. So I'm going to basically, um, after I've aligned the UV map, I'm going to start making a material, which is just going to be a simple white material with a little bit of shadows somewhere. So I can basically see where the hell stuff is. Um, and as you can see already, the texture st started to shift because uh, the texture of the skirt is still the image that's aligned to it. So now I'm going to uh, create a new uh, material and then I'm going to tell the material what it's supposed to be and where it's supposed to assign to. It's supposed to assign to all of the skirt. And yeah, I'm just messing around with some values here, messing around a little bit with the shaders because um, depending on how you shade it, you can do some really cool stuff in Blender. For example, you can simulate like real uh, cloth and like basically like real materials that look pretty good. And yeah, I'm just exper experimenting with them because this is Blender 2.7 and I have prior to this project never used 2.7. I've always been using uh, Blender 2.9 uh, and I've honestly grown a lot more accustomed to it. There has been a huge UI update between Blender 2.7 and Blender 2.8. So this is still very complicated for me. So yeah, you can see I made a basic white material for this one and now I'm hiding everything else but the skirt because now I'm going to bake. I'm going to bake on a 1K by 2K texture because that's what I need. Uh, this preset, by the way, I'm uh, going to link uh, down below if you want to have it too because this saved my butt having this because without this, I wouldn't have been able to make the UV map. I found this in one of the tutorials. I'm going to link the tutorials down there below uh, again. So you can, you know, check those out too, because there are some amazing people out there that actually teach you how to do this stuff. I know crazy, right? So yeah, uh, on the side down there, you can see how I'm doing uh, the texture baking. And this was my first bake. And right now you can see there's like this really big edge around it. And at first I didn't really knew why or how to disable that because uh, again, Blender 2.9 person never had these issues before because uh, baking in Blender 2.9, it's a pain in the, you know what, but um, it's, it's, it's not as painful as baking in 2.7 and below. So eh, I take what I can get. Anyways, uh, this was like the first bake that I did. I thought it didn't look too bad, but I already knew that I'm going to have to like do the other part differently because that won't work. But anyways, it was testing time. And so while I was testing this, um, I quickly noticed that somehow the UV map was completely messed up. And I have no clue why. I still don't know why reviewing the footage, but my UV map just decided to reset itself. So there you see it, it just decided to reset itself. So I just basically had to do the, the whole process again. So he used to me baking once again. And yeah, this was just, yeah, I just had to reassign the material, do the material once again, then go back to bake and just bake once again and yay. and. Yeah, Blender is an awesome program, but I'm not a fan of 2.7. And yeah, as you can see with this material right now, it still looks kind of wonky, not really what I want. I mean, it's a solid texture, so can't really complain because that's what I wanted. But still, uh, the underside of the skirt still looks 
pretty bad because I have like normals overlapping, but hey, I kind of need them to overlap a little bit. And yeah, I'm going to fix that problem later. Uh, I then fixed that problem with like the big sides. I just had to like, you see where it says like uh, margin, it's, it's, it used to say margin 16 pixels, now it's only two pixels. And that's what like this weird overhang was. So if you have problems with that too, just change that one. As you can imagine, fixing this was pretty easy. Just had to re-import the mesh and thus re basically import like the right UV map. And thus it should have been all right, right? Because now, you know, the scat looks good. And now that I don't have like an over mapping, overlapping UV map, it should look good in the Sims, right? Well, um, not really. Like I'm, I'm going to change the top and you see what I mean. It's just, um, yeah. We still have a slight overlapping issue. And if you see that like on any custom content or anything, um, I'm going to show you how to fix this. Uh, I actually immediately knew what this was because I've had this problem a couple of times before in other projects. The solution is simple. You just have to delete the underlying mesh. So you have to like go to the like base mesh figure that you have and you just have to delete all those thingies, all those faces they're called and then you're good to go because what is not existing cannot clip you know so that's what i've been doing here i actually had to do it twice because i'm an idiot um because this is not enough i didn't realize it until i tested it again uh going to show you the testing too um but yeah then i of course uh checked if the uvmac was still intact it still was intact i was pretty happy about that so exported it, shove it into Sims 4 Studio, export that again, and yeah, then put it again into the Sims 4, and yeah, I just tested that again, and honestly, it when I put it into the Sims 4, it looked pretty good, except when I started to let her walk, you, you're going to see, so selecting the skirt, everything looks fine, we have no weird clipping, and then we walk. Exactly. That's what we call problems. <laughs> and fixing this problem is easy. Just delete the underlying mesh. So we're back into Blender. I'm going to speed this one up because I did not realize at that point that Blender 2.7 also had the circle select tool. Again, I'm a 2.9 person. I did not realize that I had this luxury. And I completely messed it up because I actually deleted too many vertices. You can see it there. Like there was no skin on the skirt basically. So this would have looked weird in Sims. So I did the whole process again. Um, and that time it worked out, so there wouldn't be a weird gap in The Sims 4, everything would be fine, skirt would work. Uh, and yeah, after that, we just basically have to put it back <laughs> into <laughs> Sims 4 Studio, re-import that thing, then export it as a package file, and put that one back into our mods folder. And the skirt's looking pretty good right now, right? Like, still looking good in The Sims 4 Studio, shove it into the game, still looking good. And I thought, yay, I'm finished. Awesome. And I'm walking and I do not get clipping. Like, baby, I'm done. Like, this video was so easy. Like, what was even my problem creating meshes? Like, this was just, what now? It was like, uh, like, like eight hours of work because I had to Google a billion tutorials. But yeah, I then decided that I wanted to have like a different texture map because I thought that it looked weird on the other side. So I thought, yeah, this is not a finished product. This is now the completely just white texture skirt. This is nice. And I'm going to like bake some really cool textures on it. I'm going to look really fancy. Um, yeah, and I was like, okay, I'm going to like really like dress up the sim. She's going to look so awesome. I'm going to put her on the gallery and everything. And like, uh, with like, description of how this is my first skirt and everything it's going to look so cool she's going to be so amazing maybe i'm even going to build her house and everything i was, I was totally motivated and well um while i was like trying different like uh, tops i started to notice that no um my journey ain't over because we got problems folks and this is what we call problems this is a problem 
this is not supposed to happen. And I was like, okay, is the shirt bugged out? Because I, I tested this just after the Sims updated. I was like, the shirt has to be bugged out, right? They, they did something weird in the update. No, they didn't. It's my skirt. My skirt's the problem. And I was like, no, this can't be. No, how am I supposed to fix this? How am I supposed to find anyone online to help me fix this? Because there, if you like Google making Sims for CC, you get like mostly recolors, like tutorials about recolors. And this is not what I'm doing. I'm doing mesh editing. So to be specific, I have to find a tutorial about mesh editing that has exactly this kind of clipping that I've honestly never seen before in a downloaded CC item. So how in the holy heck am I supposed to do this? And like, you see pretty well in the swimsuit what the problem is, but let me just show you the one top that was the real problem because it, it was this one from like, uh, get together and it's like, yeah, you can see that we have problems and they're not small. Like you see that, that those black straps, they're supposed to be white. Tighty white. We got problems, problems with this skirt. Like this is, this ain't good. So back to the drawing board. Okay, the problem was actually pretty easy to solve if you're not as stupid as I am. Uh, since I followed the tutorial, I thought, hey, I'm just going to use that link that they had to the cool preset that you can use. And yeah, don't do that. Instead, do this. Go to cars, create cars standalone, wait a billion years because there was literally just a Sims update and now everything needs to load again. And then you see all these things and you're going to want the one that is for the female frame for the skirt that I did. And uh, then you basically see this and this is what you want. Uh, down there's this next button that you can't see because I have it cropped. Yeah, you then basically create new package uh, and then you can from then on now you go to mesh and you export this mesh and then you can just append the stuff that you did onto this one because if you don't do this and you use like a preset mesh or something like that uh you get the problem that i had and that wasn't fun so do this not the other thing that i did because i'm stupid so when we put this thing into game and we go here we put this on this works looking good working go up here and we let her walk, everything's fine. It just works. And there's actually one thing that I found with this skirt in particular that was really weird because uh, this is actually a problem that like the the base mesh that I uh, used, like the eco lifestyle thing, it has the same problem. And I have no idea how to solve that one. I think that's an issue that EA has to tackle if anything. I did send it to the like bug report because I thought it looked really, really weird. Uh, when she does this days-ish walk, you see how the, there's like these two little thingies popping out on each side. Yeah, that's a problem. That's what we call problems. And you know how to solve this? Because I s certainly don't, because when you go up here to like uh, the eco lifestyle thing that I used for this as like a base mesh and you also like put this in any color that is good visible and you go up here and you walk and we got issues. Like we got two issues. Like I know it's basically just one pixel on either side and it's like not, not the worst thing that could happen. But it's annoying, especially when you have to stark contrast between black and white. I mean, it's also pretty bad when you go for the blue one. I think it was actually like the default one that I sent a video in with, but still like, you see this? It's, it's annoying. It's, it's, and it's, it's really infuriating because I have no goddamn clue how I can fix this because this is the first time I'm doing this. So this skirt will now for the time being have this exact issue <laughs> but other than that it actually works as you can see problems are solved the only thing that is well not solved is the apparently the dazed walk and it's like basically only the dazed walk in which this happens like in this one it doesn't happen in this one it doesn't happen this one is fine this one's also fine so is this so is this so is this i was clicking through all the walks because i was paranoid and well my paranoia was apparently not unjustified. So yeah, 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was maybe helpful to you if you had trouble making your own CC mesh too because this was really a journey for me, especially with Blender 2.7. I do not recommend Blender 2.7, just do marvelous designer. Apparently that's better. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I see you in whichever video, stream or whatever you will watch next. Bye!